What's going on guys? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt and something a lot of Colts fans are talking about is whether or not T.Y. Hilton is going to re-sign with the Colts. Well, there was an Instagram story that might have given us a hint as to whether or not he's coming back. So I'm going to talk about it and let you guys know whether I think it's something worth talking about or if it's a nothing burger. But before I do that, if you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also click the bell icon, that way you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think this is worth something or if it's nothing, let me know in the comments. And also if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So, like I said... Something a lot of Colts fans are talking about is whether or not T.Y. Hilton is going to be coming back. And look, the Colts are definitely interested in bringing back T.Y. Hilton. And T.Y. Hilton is interested in coming back to the Colts. It's just going to come down to the money. Can they agree or will they disagree? Um, that's really what it's going to come down to. So we really don't know what's going to happen. However, there was an Instagram story posted yesterday by Isaiah Rogers. And I'm going to put a screenshot of that Instagram story on screen for you guys to see. But in that Instagram story, it was him and Paris Campbell. They were joking around about Madden. And Paris Campbell, he was sitting in front of the lockers where all the players' names, you know, they were above the lockers that they were assigned to. Well, one of the lockers that's being blocked off by the wall partially, um, the name above it is T.Y. Hilton and has his number. So when I first saw that, I was like, oh, that means T.Y. Hilton's coming back. It could be announced any day now, right? That's what I thought at first. But when I started to think about it, I was like, well, now that I think about it, maybe they just haven't assigned it to anybody yet and they just haven't taken the name down yet and they're waiting until they sign somebody that's going to have that locker. That could be the case, right? But what makes it more interesting is the locker has stuff in it. If it was nobody's locker... There would be nothing in it, right? So, with there being stuff in it, that begs the question. Does this mean the chances of T.Y. Hilton coming back to the Colts improves or not? Now, I should say, I did first hear about the story on Twitter from Colts Militia. That's where I got the screenshot from. They were the first ones I saw talk about it, so I do want to give them credit. So, with that being said, what do I think? Does this make me feel like... T.Y. Hilton is coming back sooner rather than later, and a deal is being finalized. No, I don't think this is what it means at all. All this really shows me, if I'm going to be completely honest, is that the Colts do have interest in bringing T.Y. Hilton back. I think this proves that the interest is there on the Colts' side, because if there was no interest at all, his nameplate wouldn't be above that locker. It'd be taken off, you know, put away, thrown away, whatever they do with those plates. It wouldn't be above the locker. So there definitely is some interest on the Colt side. This proves it for sure. And with the stuff in the locker, it doesn't really prove that T.Y. is coming back. It doesn't have his jersey in there that we can see. It has, it looks like shirts, shoes, cleats, you know, things like that. But it doesn't really show us that, yeah, this is T.Y. Hilton's stuff. So that means he's coming back for sure. That, that's not what it does at all. You know what I mean? So, again, I don't think this really means anything at all. I do think it's worth talking about. You know what I mean? I don't think that this is a nothing burger. I think this is worth talking about. However, I don't think this proves one thing or the other. This doesn't prove that he's going to re-sign with the Colts. And this doesn't prove that he's not going to re-sign with the Colts. Like I said, it's something to talk about. But at the end of the day, it's really a nothing burger, right? So... Yeah, I would love to have T.Y. back, but that's still something that we're going to be talking about and questioning. We won't really know until a deal is finalized or reports start coming out that a deal is being done, either from the Colts or another team. So, there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think this is worth talking about or no? Um, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Let me know your thoughts down below again. Is this a nothing burger or is it something? Let me know your thoughts. And also, if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So, thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt, Bleed Blue, and we'll see you next time.
Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.